hello and uh, welcome friends uh, in this video i am trying to explain uh, the concept uh, anova ancova and manova mancova i have already explained anova several times in my previous videos analysis of variance today's concept is analysis of covariance i have also explained multivariate analysis of uh, variance today i will explain multivariate analysis of covariance with some basic concepts i think it is better uh, to explain these uh, these econometric tool or statistical tool uh, with respect to some example because uh, it is it is better to understand the concept if we uh, try to understand with respect to some example that means how this type of uh, concept can be applicable okay or may be applicable after that uh, we'll go the theoretical nitty gritty the assumptions the statistical uh, software uh, the operation of statistical software how to operate this uh, this uh, this software for conducting this type of um, uh, that means studies uh, related to manova application of manova mancova or anova uh, ancova like this we have started in this way that randomly we have selected 30 students from uh, uh, in pg level uh, students from an one university suppose from the department of economics of any university and um, the 30 students is divided uh, into uh, three groups each group consists of 10 students okay now we are considering the independent variable or independent factor so independent variable in this case is teaching methods we are assuming that teaching method is the independent variable and we are also assuming that three types of teaching methods are available one is one group of uh, teachers who are taking not taking any class or uh, coming to the class uh, at the very beginning just for introduction and uh, coming to the class at the uh, end session uh, that means before exams just to provide material another group of teachers are taking class regularly through chalk and talk and sometimes provides uh, the study materials or something else. but another group of teachers they are taking classes seriously by using sophisticated techniques uh, maybe uh, smart board uh, through powerpoint presentation and they are also using the ch chalk and talk and uh, the others other methods also that means all the sophisticated and the traditional they are applying everything side by side they are providing study materials uh, the references everything so and the independent variable in this case we are uh, we have taken that the the students marks obtained uh, in marks obtained in in semester two so this is the dependent variable this is the dependent variable the so since we have taken the students of uh, third semester so naturally they got the results uh, or marks uh, that they have obtained in semester two that is why the marks obtained in semester two is taken as dependent variable in this case uh, if we want to uh, want to study that uh, by taking three groups so does there exist any difference in marks by giving the treatment uh, three different treatments then we are getting uh, the flavor of ANOVA analysis of variance does there exist any difference in marks due to differences in differences in different uh, in teaching methods or something like this that we have already explained in my previous videos now this video the main thing that we are going to add or we are going to include is the concept of covariate covariate actually it is in analysis of uh, covariance or ANCOVA provides a way of statistically controlling the linear effect of variables that one does not want to examine in a study these these are also known as extraneous or confounding variables uh, okay for example if we consider pre-test score okay um, uh, th that may be treated as uh, as a covariate uh, in this case also or we can also include uh, other factor uh, that may influence uh, the the marks obtained in semester 2 other than the teaching method for example the general intelligence basic level of intelligence now since we cannot able to measure intelligence so what we can take 
uh, as the continuous variable we can take the internal marks or internal assessment throughout their class uh, throughout the semester their class responses uh, their 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 um, their presence presence of intelligence or their uh, other things um, or maybe uh, the marks obtained in the last exam that means in semester one exam these may be treated as covariate or confounding variable which have some influence on the marks obtained in uh, semester uh, two okay so if we control this variable then we are getting the better result uh, that means that does there exist any difference in marks due to teaching methods or something else what does there exist any difference in marks uh, of the three groups due to use uh, by using or due to the differences in teaching methods so due to the differences in in independent variable to what extent uh, this dependent variable uh, you know differs or something like this so if we include covariate it provides a better result that is why the analysis of covariance sometimes treated uh, uh, is an extension of ANOVA and sometimes treated uh, you know very very important in analysis of covariance and that is why just now I told internal assessment or marks obtained in semester one may be treated as covariate now one way ANOVA and analysis of covariance and COVA three groups group one group two group three the independent variable is the three group means teaching method the first teaching method is given for a subject second teaching method third teaching method and the dependent variable is marks obtained in semester two marks obtained in semester two marks obtained in semester two by this group of students okay so ANOVA means does there exist any difference of marks of these three groups due to the differences in treatment but if we include that marks obtained in last exam that is in semester one or the marks in internal assessment uh, uh, of the semester two or something like semester two through class response throughout the semester then we can uh, and if we control uh, this this variable which may be treated as the basic level of intelligence we can get uh, the idea of analysis of covariance or the analysis of covariance we include ANOVA plus one covariate so it becomes analysis of covariance now analysis one way two way ANOVA and ANCOVA you know if the number of independent variable is one maybe two or three categories in our case independent variable is teaching method with three categories okay it becomes ANOVA if we want to examine the difference uh, of dependent variable does there exist any mean difference of dependent variable it becomes ANOVA if we add the basic level of intelligence through internal assessment or marks obtained in last exam whatever it may be it becomes one way and COVA analysis of covariance if we include another independent variable that is gender male student female student because we know gender may have some influence on the marks obtained because generally it is observed from the practical experiences that females are more serious in their academic study or um, regularity or punctuality compared to male nowadays so the we want to examine the influence of both the independent variable or both the factors on the dependent variable it becomes two-way ANOVA if we include the covariate with two-way ANOVA it becomes two-way and COVA next therefore MANOVA and MANCOVA one way and two way how can we classify this one we know we have explained the MANOVA MANOVA means same as ANOVA but in ANOVA we have only one dependent variable but if we include more than one uh, dependent variable it becomes MANOVA so in this case like the previous example independent variable or independent factor is uh, teaching method three types of teaching methods and the dependent variable is marks obtained in semester 2 and marks obtained in semester 3 now we are considering suppose the the results the students by taking students of semester 4 they already got the marks of semester 2 and semester 3 so this is the simple example of one way manova if we include gender as another factor male student female students okay so it becomes two way manova because we want to examine the influence of this independent variable it of each category on the linear combination of the dependent variable one way or two way manova 
if we include the covariate that means basic level of intelligence or internal assessment it becomes uh, one way or two way mankova so uh, if we include uh, the more than one independent variable so one is teaching method three types of teaching method and another is gender male student female students side by side we have included covariate that is the basic level of intelligence or and our dependent variable now is the marks obtained in semester 2 marks obtained in semester 3 or you may include marks obtained in semester 1 also that means more than two more than one means it may be two two three so if there is three independent three dependent variable we may also include but in this case in our example we have taken that two dependent variable marks obtained in semester 2 and marks obtained in semester 3 but we have used marks obtained in semester 1 as the as the covariate because we know it must have some influence marks obtained in semester 1 must have some influence on semester 2 and, uh, and semester 3 also because we should not expect that uh, the students who got marks in semester 1 as 40 percent he will get 80 percent in semester 2 90 percent in semester 3 we should not expect in this way there must be some linkage some kind of linkage or instead of basic level of intelligence must have some influence on this 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 uh, dependent variable so if we can able to control this basic level of intelligence we can able to get a better way uh, of the influence of the independent variable under each category on the on the linear combinations of the dependent variables so in this way we can explain manova and mancova as i told if there is only one uh, independent variable with three um, criteria it becomes one way manova if we include more than one independent variable in this case we have included gender male female it becomes two way manova this is an hypothetical example suppose the group is written as a b c okay group one group two group three but the teaching method so uh, teaching method is taken as um, sorry teaching method is uh, taken um, this one the one uh, uh, method that those who are not taking any class just giving material uh, uh, or coming to the class uh, uh, taking class maximum one or two classes something like this and uh, screen previous pointer option uh, point okay so we have uh, quantify in this way one and two means the, the those who are taking class regularly but to, to chalk and talk and not using uh, any sophisticated material and the third group of teachers is taking classes uh, by using sophisticated techniques uh, or tools okay so in this way we quantify the uh, teaching method now gender is treated as one for male and zero for female and the reverse is also true zero for male and one for female also there is no hard and fast rule that we have to put one for male or zero for female now covariate this is a continuous variable covariate means internal assessment we have taken in this case internal assessment out of 10 how much marks that particular student got so here it is uh, 8 9 10 out of 10 so in this way we can able to get the internal marks now marks obtained in semester 2 and this is marks obtained in semester 3 okay maybe this is percentage of marks percentage of marks or marks out of 50 the marks obtained in semester uh, semester 2 marks obtained in semester this is semester so this is our hypothetical example now we want to uh, export this this um, data into our uh, software uh, but before that uh, we want to show what are the assumptions behind the applications of uh, uh, the um, analysis of covariance or multivariate analysis of covariance one way or two way